I heard the commotion out there, and somehow I knew it was you. I can't tell you how good it is to see you, my illustrious friend. As you can see, we are in dire straits here, and it's on the verge of getting much worse. That fiend Alassane is here. With Uwafa dead, he has the withered hand dedicated to his own twisted designs. He seeks power. The reason they aren't raising these people is because Alassane plans to turn himself into a lich. He has corrupted one of the Ansei wards. He's using some kind of necromantic focuses to channel energy from the dead for a ritual he's conducting in the lighthouse. He says this ritual will make him a lich. Will you help me stop him? I believe it's best to destroy the focuses first. Alassane's minions have been piling the dead around them. They seem to be channeling energy for the ritual. Destroy the focuses, then go to the lighthouse and find a way to disrupt Alassane's ritual. When we arrived, the necromancers had already killed everyone. We snuck up to spy on them, and I saw Lalasan. Evil has twisted his features, but I knew him. He was ranting about this ritual to become a lich. We attacked, but you see how that went. Yes, he and Uwafa both. Since we were knee-high to a doom beetle, we studied together. They were always sadistic, obsessed with death. That was before their father turned, of course. If only we had killed them all back then. My father sent me here because he feared the Withered Hand might target our navy. I don't think that's why they came, though. It seems that many centuries ago, this was the home of one of the Ansei who sacrificed themselves to create the wards. I suspect it has something to do with Alassane's plan to become a lich. This is where the Ansei was born. Perhaps Alassane had to bring the ward here in order to corrupt it. That's just my theory, of course. Not good, I'm afraid. Rumors about the Ansei wards being stolen run rampant, and every day there are new reports of risen dead. The crowns and some forebears are calling for my father to step down. There's even talk of rebellion. Doing something with magic key?
impressive. You've come too late! The ritual has begun and you cannot strike me down! You are the one who killed my brother Uafa, are you not? I will grant that you are likely a formidable foe. But once I become a lich, I will burn you to cinders. There's nothing you can do to stop me now! The ritual has begun, and I am already bound to the Anse Ward as it is bound to me! If you strike me down, the blade will be shattered! You broke the Anse Ward. You think that will stop me? I am not finished. After so many centuries, it is a wonder I can still be surprised. I could not abide the necromancer corrupting my ward, but I was powerless to stop him. Your actions have shattered the blade, but you made the right choice. You have my gratitude. Shattering the blade was the only way, albeit there were consequences. Necromantic energy was released, causing the dead of Tava's blessing to rise. The necromancer himself is not a lich, but he has become a powerful spirit. No, he cannot be slain now. There is a way, but I am fading. With the ward broken, my strength wanes quickly. I will presently go to the far shores unless you can reforge the blade. We need the god's favor. For Tava, capture the desert wind. For Morwa, get the milk of a goat. And for Zet, gather the earth from a fallen warrior's grave. With these elements, reforge the blade. Then bring it to the Anse Shrine. You are undone by your own heroics, dog. I may not be a lich, but I have an army of undead.
You will die. You will die, and then you will join my army. That felt good. meddled with my affairs long enough. It is time to end this. Yes, the time has come to end this, this evil. What are you doing here? Your ward is broken, Anse. You are no threat to me. Now, take the ward and use it to trap Alassane. What are you doing? No! I feared that after all these years, my sacrifice would prove to be of no avail. But you performed admirably. We cannot kill that necromancer, but he will trouble us no more. He became some kind of specter, and he bound himself to my ward. But that allowed me to imprison him within it. He is... contained now. The important thing is that the ward is restored and can again protect the Alakir Desert. For that, I thank you. I sense that the Third Ward is in the greatest peril of all. The sibling of the Necromancer who came here is far more skilled in the Dark Arts, far more dangerous, and far more ambitious. The sibling I speak of has not been slain, and has possession of the third Anse ward, but I cannot sense its location. Despite our victory here, the Alakir Desert is still in danger. Whatever has befallen, you must recover the third ward. I do not know, but trust your destiny, for it will lead you where you need to be. First, though, you must secure my ward. Find someone you can entrust with its keeping. I sense that we will meet again. May the gods watch over you until then. Foulness is afoot now. The dead have risen? I thought Alassane was purposefully not raising them. Are we too late? Has Alassane made himself into a lich? He's not? Oh, we should rejoice then! That bastard! I relish the knowledge of his defeat. Without him, the rest of these necromancers do not concern me. Not in the least. What of the Anse Ward? Do you have it? 
And you brought it to me? That's quite an honor. I promise you, for as long as I live, it will not fall into enemy hands again. Now, only the final Ansei ward remains. But if Uwafa and Alasan are gone, who has it? Another sibling? But who could that be? Wait, Satura did have another child, a very young daughter. I remember her now, nipping at her brother's heels. I do not remember her name. Somehow we must find her though. I think I know where to find the third Anse Ward. <laughs> 